Introducing first. Welcome everyone to Access Now Sports. Tonight we are bringing you CWE Wrestling from York and Saskatchewan. My name is Corey Mercer, joined tonight by Caitlin Hill. And Caitlin, to get things going here, we're getting a, a CWE Heavyweight title match. Nothing like uh, starting it off strong with a title match. And you can see here, there is a great turnout here in Yorkton. Always a big, big crowd here in Yorkton. And they're going to watch this young fella from Germany, Norman Harris. He's going to be taking on the CWE Heavyweight Champion, Mentalo. I uh, definitely feel like it's going to be a little bit different of a crowd than what he's used to. You'd think that uh, the German wrestling folk are maybe a little bit more um, vocal, a little bit more in your face than uh, the Yorkton crowd might be here tonight. Oh, clearly you've never been to Yorkton. They're very loud, very in your face to the point where uh, uh, their high school football coach actually got involved in a match not that long ago. All right, well, then I stand corrected. Hey. Maybe he'll feel right at home. He's actually in attendance, that coach, too. Coach oh. Boyda is here tonight. So uh, he's had some run-ins with uh, the headline Sean Martins and uh, Kevin O'Doyle before. Let's see if anything comes of that later tonight. But before that... And next, your CWE champion. Yes, that awful music can only mean one thing. Mentalo, the CWE champion. Kaylee, you've got to see Mentalo compete a few different times now. What are your thoughts on the champion? Well, I mean, I definitely think that he could use some upgrades to uh, his music. That's for sure. Uh, but his ring attire is usually pretty on point. Tonight you see him, uh, a do uh, well, I don't even know what the word is, wearing, representing Spider-Man, one of uh, my personal favorite comic book characters. So uh, he does get kudos to me for that one. Yes, Mentalo, big comic book fan. He's uh, come out in Green Lantern gear before, Captain America, you name it. But I will say, you know, he definitely is impressive in the ring here. I think it'll be stylistically a very different approach between the two of them. Absolutely. Good call. Mentalo, more of that Lucha Libre style wrestler. Whereas the European wrestlers like Norman Harris, more of a, a technical a grappling type style. He obviously has the, uh, the height advantage in this one here. Let's see if he's able to use that to... Uh, to his effect here. Uh, Mental Oval would have a, a pretty sizable uh, size advantage though. He's hit the gym a little bit harder than Mr. Harris has. I would really like to know how tall he is because just based on where he is at right now, <laughs> just standing next to her, and I get it there's a ring there so maybe it's just the the difference between the fact that he's in the ring so he looks like he's as tall as the top of the basketball net there well I have it right here Caitlin he's actually six foot five okay so yeah no he is abnormally large then. that's right yeah whereas Mentolo he clocks in at uh, five eight so oh, okay pretty big uh, size discrepancy here well, it'll definitely be interesting to see how he adjusts his capabilities with somebody that is so much taller than him. <laughs> you can gotta reach down just to get that collar and elbow tight. <laughs> I was gonna say you can see the difference just plain as day there. There's a little bit of taunting going on. Norman Harris still fairly new to the wrestling game. Uh, only been wrestling for uh, five, six years, I believe. Mentolo, of course, a veteran of the squared circle. He was trained by a Harley race way back in the day. He also had hand in training a, a certain uh, AEW star uh, that you might know named uh, Kenny Omega. Uh, definitely uh, an impressive name with that one there. Uh, Kenny Omega d has uh, lived up to a very, very illustrious career and reputation, that's for sure. So... That's going to feel nice for him to see the success of one of the people that he helped train. That's right. And uh, when AEW was in uh, Regina not that long ago, uh, Mentolo was on that card. He was fighting uh, on AEW Dark. You can catch that on the uh, AEW uh, YouTube page. It's always nice to see when you have some of those bigger companies coming into the area that they really help with harnessing the local talent and making sure that they get their time. That's right. 
You see the rope break there. The ref calling it out, which is good. Mentalo, of course, being a veteran, he uh, is able to kind of pick up on those types of situations where he might be able to bend the rules. Norman Harris doing the smart thing, I think, uh, utilizing that, that leverage advantage he has, first working on the arm of Mentalo, now getting with that side headlock. He doesn't even have to bend down to put him into a headlock. Like, the amount of time that is saving him <laughs> just to be able to reach down is is got to be astronomical for each of his matches. But Mentolo does have that experience factor. He's uh, been CWE champion for quite a bit now. He took that strap off of uh, hotshot Danny Duggan quite a while ago. And he's been a fighting champion every stop the CWE has made the last uh, year or so. Mentolo's put that belt up for grabs. I mean, that's a great mentality to have. Now, uh, fingers crossed is that he doesn't eventually catch that weary burnout of being a fighting champion. You put your body through a lot. That's right. Now, Norman Harris wanting the uh, test of strength. He does have the leverage advantage here. Oh, and Mentolo not falling for that. Oh. Two <laughs> and three. A few Why kip ups. <laughs> Why do one when you can do three? I mean, I would do three if I had the ability to, let's be honest. You know, you keep threatening to do a, a swanton bomb off, off of a ladder onto a table, so you could kip up right after you're done that. Yeah, I think I would have better success at the swanton bomb <laughs> to the table than the kip up, that's for sure. You see a little bit of that injury there on Harris's leg. Maybe playing it up a little bit, trying to... Uh, give Me Mentolo the uh, false hope that he's endured a little bit more pain than he actually has. Suckered him in a little bit. That's a good strategy there by the newcomer. You see the ref keeping a very close eye on this match, really making sure that uh, if anything happens, he's going to see it. Referee Cam always doing a great job on these tours. Now, this type of style, I think, plays into the uh, hands of Mentolo a little more than it does Norman Harris. Oh. You could hear his hand ricochet off of his body, which... Look at this. He's hopping oh all over the place. Oh, my gosh. J just for a wrist throw. <laughs> Listen, if you can do it, you might as well. Absolutely. Nothing wrong with a little bit of extra flourish. Oh, a nice flying head scissors there by the champion. Ooh. Solid drop kick. That is going to take Norman Harris out to the floor. The crowd not impressed. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can definitely uh, see that that took a little bit out of Harris there. He seems a um, little disoriented, but I mean, who wouldn't? Well, that is a hard gymnasium uh, basketball court that he just fell on there. So. What a slide. Taking him, it looked like one of them hit him right in the teeth there. Right. I think he's checking to make sure they're all still there. Would be a nice little souvenir for one of the people in there the crowd. Yeah. Oh, oh right to the floor over the top rope, taking both men out. Referee Cam's going to have to get that double count started. Mentolo's up now, trying to get the crowd into it here. <laughs> Are you not entertained? You're getting a CWE heavyweight title fight right off the hop. And with somebody that's throwing their body out into the crowds. Yeah, look out there, little Missy. Oh. Up close and personal as only you can get <laughs> in CWE. No barricades here, folks. I mean, at least she's being a good sport about <laughs> it. <laughs> They're having fun. Thumbs up. You get a mental O, sure. Oh. I wonder if that uh, rattled him as much as the kick to the face earlier. Oh, back into the crowd here. Deep into the crowd here. Oh, why up. And... Oh. And there's Coach Boyd. I saw him in the uh, orange toque in the back there. Maybe that's where they're heading. Slowly, <laughs> row by row, back to him. See if he wants to get his hands on uh, any of the superstars tonight. I would not be surprised. Finally, the action is back in the ring now. 
That's See, a, it's a nice snapmare. You say finally, but I personally really like it when they go out into the crowd. You never know what's going to happen in that situation. Who might just decide to pop in and push somebody else around, right? I guess, yeah. But you want to see Ooh. this. If, if you're Norman Harris, you got to keep this match in the ring because the title does not change hands on a count out, only by a submission or a Listen, pinfall. that's just technicalities. I'm personally thinking of how it is f as a fan that's sitting there. I don't care about him winning the title. Oh. Oh. Well, Mentolo's in another state right now because he just got a big boot right to the side of the head, and he's on the floor. Uh, yeah, a, a boot that size would probably take you a bit to adjust to when it kicks you in the face. Angelo, not sure what province he's in, much less what town. And they're cheering for him, though, so I mean, maybe that'll draw him back in, get his head on straight and focused. He's Ooh. on autopilot at this point. There's another shot right to the back of the neck. CW had another major tour through Manitoba and Saskatchewan. And you just see him just manhandling our champion right now. Not looking so great. Really trying to get his bearings here. Being encouraged by the fans at ringside. Norman Harris got him by the arm. Now there's a big forearm shot right to the jaw, it looked like. Oh. Oh, this is going to be oh, oh. right on that metal apron there. That, that's the metal outside of the ring. There's no protection there. You know, even if there was, I still think that's going to hurt. Oh, my gosh. Big knee drop. Will that do it? Two and oh, Mentolo just gets the shoulder up. I have no idea how he managed to kick out of that because between the metal frame to the back and the double knees to the chest, he has got to be hurting. I tell you what, Caitlin, both these guys have to kind of watch how much energy they expend because they're both going to be in the main event tonight. Tonight we're doing the Rumble to Remember Battle Royal. All the competitors competitors on the card here tonight will be back in an over-the-top battle royal later tonight for ten thousand dollars do they let anybody go into that because nope, i mean i could use ten thousand nope. <laughs> i need my broadcast party can't have you being thrown oh. over the top rope although i'd worry for somebody like norman harris i think you could probably chuck him over pretty easy. oh for sure i mean he's gangly enough right <laughs> you just got to get underneath that's right you saw Mentolo having that little bit of push there, and it just being stopped. Oh. Big back elbow right into that back. And not a spinning back elbow from standing. <laughs> How he managed that as such a tall person, exactly, I don't right? understand. 6'5 and pulling that off. That's impressive. Oof. Might we see an upset here in the first match of the night? Maybe a new champion. Nice reverse there, getting those elbows up and in Harris's face and big clothesline. Oh. oh, I thought he had him. That was close. That was very close. And especially with uh, all of the moves that have taken place here, I, every time that pin comes, I get a little bit more worried for the champion. Might be a little uh, mistake here by the uh, the young rookie, though, Norman Harris. He's letting the champ kind of catch his breath a little bit. It doesn't matter how well you're doing. You should never underestimate your opponent. That's right. You see Mentolo shaking his hand, no, saying, I'm good, I'm good. Doesn't quite have that arm cinched underneath the chin of Mentolo. He's trying to choke him out here, but just doesn't quite oh. have it cinched in. Oh! Nice counter there by Mentolo. Oh, that's got to hurt the back of the head, though, too. Yeah, you see him holding there. you got to kind of <laughs> resituate yourself after that one. Europeans have notoriously hard heads. They'll ring around the rosy and a shot right to the shins. That usually followed up by oh. a double kick to the head. There it is. Mental still trying to shake the cobwebs out. All right. More high-flying moves, getting that pace back up a little bit faster. 
Oh, and kick out at two. Almost had him. Mental really did think that he had him there, but I mean, between the two of them, uh, the competitors have, it's been a little one-sided here. Now the crowd's getting into it. Mentolo's getting him pumped up as he attempts to finish off Norman Harris. Oh, and you see that fight back. And... Ooh, ooh. Nice flapjack. Norman Harris going up now. Middle turnbuckle. What's he got planned? Ooh, oh, big elbow. There's that spinning back elbow again. This Will time. Do it? Oh, and kick out. So close. You can see the frustration on the face of young Norman Harris. Well, but he, you know, you can't count out Mentolo. I mean, he does have the heart of a champion, and you see that coming through here with the fact that he's using every last ounce he has in his body to hold on in this fight. Norman Harris going for the big splash in the corner. Throws Mentolo into the opposite corner. That ring moved about four inches. There's a kick to the head by Mentolo. Oh! What a kick. The flexibility Ooh. to be able to get your foot that high up on somebody that's six foot five <laughs> is astonishing. Yeah, that's a long way to go. Mentolo trying to finish him off here. Ooh. There's that big knee right to the face. And that's gonna Not do it. Yet. Finishing that off with a fantastic running knee there. Mentolo retains. <laughs> may have to get uh, checked out in the back though by CWE doctors. He took a couple of big shots to the head. Was holding his cranium quite a bit. He may be suffering a concussion. Maybe we don't see him back for the Rumble to remember. Which would be, I mean, a blow to the lineup for that. But, I mean, at the end of the day, his, uh, his health and um, his ability to uh, see straight is probably much more important. 